No, you cannot make beats taste like shit. Fuck a beat. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's... I fucked that beat up. There's a fucking... <laughs> there's a fucking reason that I pile all kinds of other shit in with the vegetable mix. I know the beats are good for me, but the beats taste awful to me. <laughs> I have you now, white boy. I have you now, white boy. All right. So, hello. Welcome back to Saturdays at Derek's. I'm Mike. And I got the beat. I got the beat. I got the beat. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> I would. <laughs> but it might suck. Yeah, Mike's new nickname is Nubs. Fuck off. <laughs> It's not a nub. If anything, I just it, it's a slightly different angle on the left side. It's it's not a nub. It's all well, it's mostly it's on still the inside. there. That's like the worst place for a gamer to get a cut on the thumb. Oh no, I can't play shit. It's I've I've been playing RTSs all week. He controls it with his with with his forehead. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Usually you're really good with like table saws and shit. Tools and tea. I, I know. I he's, the, he's the handyman kind all of. Alright, I, I guess we're just, we're not going to get into yeah. any nerdy shit right away. Okay, <laughs> earlier this week, I cut my fucking thumb on a table saw. <laughs> there it is. I'm not going to show you the actual wound because it's kind of gross. There's like um, gauze actually stuck in the crusty black blood and shit. But, um, so the, the whole story is, um, I had a really boring conversation with a guy I didn't know who wanted me to build a table at work. So as I'm working on the table, I was on the table, so I'm cutting the legs for the table and I was being safe. I had my safety glasses on. I had a stick that I was pushing the material through the table saw with so that I didn't get cut, you know trying to be fucking safety boy i pushed the material all the way through now the the table saw has a, a fucking a fence on it so like the blades here and the fence is here and the material goes in between the two of them and if the material doesn't go all the way through as the table as the saw blade still spinning mm -hmm. it'll grab the material and fire it off of the fucking table it'll shoot that it makes at you physical sense yes so because yeah because the the teeth grab it and just shoot the thing out. So I pushed it through as far as I could. I turned the machine off and I reached across the fucking table to grab the piece of material and get it out of there. The saw blade didn't stop completely by the time I was reaching over and I drifted too close to the saw blade and it took a fucking chunk off of the left side. It went nub 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 nub. It's, it, was, it was well, and that was the weird thing. It didn't really hurt a lot. I was more shocked by the vibration of the the teeth banging into my thumb mm -hmm. as it was still rolling, but it wasn't like super painful. So of course, you know, instinct. It, I it hit your gamer callus. It did. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's controller saved my fucking ass. Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, um, but yeah, so I went to the bathroom, I ran it under the faucet and, and I, you know, took a look at it, tried to clean it off, see how bad the blood was, decided that, you know, it's, I couldn't see any bone, so I was happy about that. But I could also see that there was decidedly less flesh than there used to be. And, uh, and the bleeding wasn't really stopping. It wasn't super fast. It wasn't like, you know, spurting. Yeah, it wasn't Saturday Night Live, Julia Child's fucking squirting all over the place. <laughs> but it, it was bad enough that it was, it was still bleeding. So I wrapped it up in some towel and I went and told HR. And, you know, that was an embarrassing fucking story. And ended up having to go to the hospital and get it taken care of. Um, and 
uh, one, the doctors told me that I was lucky because I didn't actually like lose that much of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to have a weird little divot in my thumb for a while, but... Um, eventually, it'll you know, there, yeah, there's, it, there's no nerve damage. Um, it, it will eventually grow back. You know, mostly it was just embarrassing. And so what they did is they like sh shot me with a numbing agent right here to cut off the two nerves that run up into the thumb so that they could get in there and clean it. That's fun. Oh, Thankfully, feels so weird. Thankfully, <laughs> that drug is really good because I didn't feel shit. I uh, when I got the cyst cut out of the back of my head, yeah, they just used the numbing agent on that, and you could just feel them like scraping around in there. Yeah, yeah, but it well, didn't feel you, like. You know what the fucked up thing is? Like it's just the way the human brain like works. I cut a chunk off of my thumb. And it didn't really hurt that bad. Um, you know, I, I was like, I mean, it hurt. It, it still kind of throbs now, but it wasn't like the screaming agony you would expect it to be. <laughs> um, I was a bigger wuss about the needle. Yeah. I, I was, the, the, the guy's like, you're going to be okay with this? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I felt that needle touch my skin and just instinctively pulled my hand away from it. <laughs> well, I was like, all right, look, here's <laughs> what we're going to have to do. Uh, how about I put my hand down on the bed so I can't fucking pull it away and you go ahead and do that. I gotta stab it three times. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you gotta get through that yeah. breastplate. <laughs> no, no, you just gotta stab once, but you gotta stab hard enough to get through it. <laughs> um, but so they, they shot me up with it, they cleaned it off, and the, the nurse, cute nurse by the way, uh, <laughs> asking, me, asking me these questions, she's like, I got a series of questions we need to ask, it's all very standardized stuff. And I'm like, oh, all right cool go ahead you know what do you got i was like incredibly calm for having lost a piece of me yeah um, you know and and i was actually like bullshitting with the doctors and nurses and getting on with everybody really fine i think they liked me they were like hey you know thanks for being patient with us we got a lot of work to do today I was like yeah pff, what all i gotta do is you know go bleed. back to all i need to do <laughs> is bleed and eventually go back to work and face all the bullshit of people ragging on me because i cut my fucking thumb like an idiot Everybody's like, what's up, nubs? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 the next day. it's The first day, everybody was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's all right. And, you know, talked about it. The second day, however, uh, I had gotten past my we care about whether you're okay grace period, and I started catching shit about it. Um, but well, I'm that... digressing from the, the original story. So she's like, I got to ask you these questions. I'm like, all right, cool, go ahead. And we're, cause I'm thinking it's going to be like, you know, date of birth, are you allergic to any medications? Um, you know, when's the last time you had a tetanus shot? You know, this, that, the other thing and thinking it's all standardized Medical shit. shit. Yeah. yeah, right. No, I got battered wife shit. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, so, uh, do you feel safe at home? I'm like, what? Do you feel safe at home? <laughs> and then I realized what she meant by it. And I was like, well, the cat's you mean, Is my entire house made up of saw blades? <laughs> I'm like, well, the cat's kind of a shady fucker, but I don't think he'll pull anything, you know, too overt, because he still needs me to pay the rent. <laughs> like, it, no, I feel fine at home. Well, um, have you had any depression or thoughts of suicide? I'm like, lady, if I'm going to commit suicide, it's not going to be by saw blade. That's well, going to take a long time, be very messy, and... If, you, if it is, you're going in face first. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going with my thumb. If I'm going to commit suicide, I'm dropping my wrist right on that <laughs> fucker while it's going full speed. You know, this... Chest. Yeah. Chest I, would work. Was, but it was... Pump that sucker up all the way as high as you can it, get it. And just plop on chest first. Yeah, but it was just a, you know, a lot of it questions... Hurts, but. A lot of questions that weren't necessary for my case, and it seemed kind of dumb that they were making her do it. Was it a gang response? <laughs> is, this, is this sign gang-related? <laughs> Yeah, because uh, we know you have a history with gangs with the bullet you took in your leg. Right. No, that's probably not even on record. They couldn't find a record of the last time I had gotten a tetanus shot. Oh, really? So I ended up, you know, getting one. Well, yeah, I think the last time I got the got a tetanus shot was around high school. How's your shoulder? It was, 
<laughs> so oh, it's, it's fine. That last time I got one, it was tender for a long time. Um, no, it's pretty much okay. It's been a couple of days. Maybe I'm just a pussy. It's I <laughs> possible. I you know I don't know. Again, this didn't hurt that fucking bad. Yeah. You know, the worst I have had in it since it happened is just kind of a dull throb every so often. Like I'll, I'll you know, move it the wrong way and I'll be, like feel my pulse in in that one spot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at this point I'm just taking my antibiotics so I don't get an infection because saw blades are fucking filthy. And, uh, and just kind of waiting for it to scab up and fall off. Yeah. And then having to explain why I'm rounded flat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's what I did this week. You know, yay me. And I was right back at work the next morning working with that fucking saw again. Yeah. No fear. He needs to get a t-shirt. I don't know about... I, I, Oh, okay, I guess you know, no fear, but uh, a little more respect. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a little more. Let's slow down and be a little more careful about doing this shit. And the fucked thing is, I I got in the next day, and the mystery guy that had asked me to build the table gone. <laughs> he was gone. His tools were gone. Everything was gone. I spent half of my morning working on board. The other half of the morning, like going up to different people who were in charge of shit and going, "Do you know if I have to finish building this fucking table or not?" Because <laughs> the efficiency guy is gone, and the parts that I had made for it are still sitting there. So nobody built the table in my absence. We fired him because apparently you cutting off your thumb is incredibly inefficient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I well, I don't want to go into talking too much about work. I don't like you know giving details of my job on the internet because God knows somebody might get upset. But there were people that were decidedly unhappy about that guy. Yeah, and and he weirded me out. He was like, um, he was one of those people that's so friendly. You're kind of suspicious of them, you know, just like so cloyingly happy and friendly and I'm your buddy that you kind of wonder what the fuck he's up to. Girls' mothers, and when I was in high school, girls' mothers had the same opinion of me. Yo, I remember that one day. <laughs> we're at the front of, yeah, we're at that girl's house talking to her mom. I'm cussing like a sailor. You're being super polite. Find out later that, you know, I, Mike's cool. Yeah, I'm but, like, but, I'm like, I'm like, dude, you probably shouldn't swear in front of her parents so much that you might get Man. Yeah, and and then like I talked to her like two days later, and she's like, "My mom likes you. She thinks Derek's like creepy and up to something, but <laughs> but she likes you." I'm like, "All right, cool. I can't wait to fucking tell him." <laughs> hey, dude, guess what? Her mom liked me. <laughs> Thought you were creepy. Yeah, you're weird, man. <laughs> So, yep, that was it. And it looks like we're only got five minutes left, so we should knock through the rest of the stuff. Well, some Star Wars information dropped, thanks to J.J. Abrams and Entertainment Weekly. Um, uh, basically, Kylo Ren's real name is not Kylo Ren. Uh, yeah, no, apparently uh, Ren is a title, much like Darth. Yeah, which is cool. Um, the real question now is, who the fuck is he? Uh, there's a lot of speculation that, that he might be like one of the children of either Han or Leia, or Luke or Leia. Um, okay. And has gone a bit to the dark side. Um, it's known that he is a, a, a studier of the dark arts. Yeah, but do you, I, that he's really into the artifactory of it. Um, do you really I, think Luke Skywalker's running around fathering a bunch of illegitimate children, though? I'm just, I'm sorry, yeah. he doesn't seem like the kind of guy that's running around throwing dick all over the galaxy. Leia, on the other hand, kind of hoary. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I just, I kind of wonder about, you know, that. I guess, you know, interesting idea. You know, unless, oh, maybe some, like, Whoa. alien ninja assassins snuck into Leia's room and s harvested her eggs while she was asleep. Yeah. Um... Well, it, it seems like the consensus mostly is that people don't really want him to be related to the Skywalkers. That he, yeah. that they're just kind of hoping that he's a force sensitive because there's fear that they're going to be retelling. Oh, that the, the original story just going to be recycling really old material. 
Yeah. And I, I don't really see J.J. Abrams doing that. I could see J.J. Abrams trying to throw in a twist like that, though, where he might be like Han and, Han and Leia's kid, and yeah. he's just run off. Or even just Han's kid. Now, that's the kind... that Han, I could see having, you know, slutted <laughs> his way around kids. the galaxy a little bit. Well, um, apparently, according to the comic you know, book... Because he's, he's roguish. Apparently, according to the comic book, he's And he might be Force-sensitive. Yeah. Because if, if you really look at the stuff that Han Solo does, he might be inadvertently or subconsciously using the Force in a lot of things. True. You know, True. I mean, flying through the asteroid field, making the Kessel run. Shooting uh, in, Greedo first. What intimidating an entire squad of stormtroopers? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's there's stuff that Han Solo has done that could be force involved. Um, and and frankly, him, you know, knocking up some green bitch in a galaxy far, far away seems a lot more likely than Luke doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, either way, because you know, space chicks are just throwing themselves at Solo, dude. Oh fuck yeah, dude. I'm not gay. Gunslinging space hot would be rotter. for Han Solo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, the 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 um Kylo Ren apparently his the lightsaber the the claymore lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He built that himself. Okay. And that's why it's all rickety and stuff, and doesn't look like it works terribly well, and it's probably really overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, cool. I'm still looking forward to seeing. it. I like it. Yeah, I, everything I've seen from this so far looks great. It's fucking amazing, yeah. But it's, then the again, yeah. everything that I saw from episode one before I saw episode one, and even after a couple of times I've seen episode one, looked really cool too. So, But I have a lot of faith in J.J. Abrams. Yeah. He's done a lot of things right um, and, for and other projects. And the occasional Cloverfield. Yeah, but even Cloverfield, or not Cloverfield, um, Super 8. Cloverfield oh, okay, was no. uh, the steady cam giant monster thing, where Super 8 was the J.J. Abrams uh, aliens are being transported in a right, okay. train. Yeah. Um, and I, I actually liked Super 8. Not the best movie in the world, but... Oh, it was all right. It was very throwback to 80s kid adventure yeah, movies. Yeah, it was very... Uh, very uh, Spielbergy, yes, eighty Spielbergy yeah. film. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like I said, J.J. Abrams has very rarely made me go. Ugh. So yeah. I, I'm super excited about this film. Yeah, it's no, like I I, I love Spielbergs. Yeah, no, I, I love the reboot of Star Trek. I even liked uh, Into Darkness. So yeah, you know, because I know there are a lot of people that hate that. I had issues with it. I didn't like. The fact that there were so many overt references to Wrath of Khan. Khan yeah. Um, but for the most part, it was it was a pretty good movie. You know. Uh, anyway, we're just about out of time because you know me talking about me has sucked up a lot of minutes. Um, so I guess until next week, we're out of here. Have a good one. Doodles. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.